Well, the militant group Al-Shabaab, which is linked to Al-Qaeda, is calling the Nairobi attack the Westgate spectacle, claiming responsibility for the atrocity. The group said it was in retaliation for attacks by Kenyan and African Union troops on its fighters in southern Somalia. Our reporter Jamal Osman has met senior members of Al-Shabaab. Today he spoke exclusively to a high-ranking operative who warned foreigners are not safe in Kenya. No, no. She's injured behind her. We are going to you. The attack on Westgate Mall in Nairobi is the biggest by Al-Shabaab inside Kenya so far. Since yesterday, the group has been posting messages on Twitter warning Kenya to remove its troops from inside Somalia. Last year, I met Al-Shabaab's spokesman, Sheikh Ali Dere, in Somalia. Today, I spoke to him and he told this program Al-Shabaab wants to send a strong message to all Kenyans. The reason why we have targeted the Westgate Mall is because the Kenyans and their government have taken up arms against us. They're our enemies. They've sent their men into Somalia. They've supported their government to invade our country. For us, anywhere in Kenya is the same. We will hit them wherever we can. The reason we targeted Westgate is that we know it's a place where they feel the most pain. It's because it brings in a lot of money and is in the centre of the city. Al-Shabaab is an Islamist militant group affiliated to Al-Qaeda, who is in control of large parts of southern and central Somalia. The group is fighting to overthrow the Somali government and establish an Islamic state. It has been locked in combat with African Union troops, protecting a Western-backed government. Kenyan troops invaded Somalia in a bid to push Al-Shabaab fighters out of Kismayo, saying they were securing their border. Kismayo is a strategic port city and a huge source of revenue for Al-Shabaab. They said yesterday's attack in Nairobi is in revenge for the Kenyan presence in Somalia. It's not the first time Al-Shabaab has targeted foreign interests. Three years ago in Uganda, the Islamist fighters launched a powerful attack on spectators watching the Football World Cup final in the capital Kampala. 79 people were killed. Al-Shabaab says that was in response to Uganda taking part in the African peacekeeping forces in Somalia. And in June this year, the fighters targeted the UN compound in Mogadishu, killing at least 22 people there. Al-Shabaab's widening reach is certainly worrying Western governments, who give logistical and financial support to the African Union in their battle to defeat the Islamist fighters. I asked the Al-Shabaab spokesman why his fighters were targeting civilians, including Westerners. We don't fear Europeans and Americans because we're not weak. And we're saying to them, you should tell the Kenyans to stop their aggression if you want to be safe. And Al-Shabaab has also been attracting foreign fighters who are joining their ranks. And the fear is they could target countries outside the region. Jamal Osman reporting.